Hey Pectus Warriors, it's Riley Byrne from fixpectus.com and in today's video I want to talk about the dumbbell pullover. I haven't made a video on it for a while. If you've been subscribed to me since I made this channel five years ago, you know it's one of my favorite, if not the favorite exercise. Um, and so I wanted to just talk about it again because there are some really key considerations when it comes to doing it properly that I feel like I haven't addressed properly. And I noticed with my clients, even when they have the video tutorial of me, they still seem to mess this up. So it's really important to just reiterate how to do this properly because this movement when done properly can be really effective, just like any movement, we need to do it properly. But particularly with dumbbell pullover, it's just super important. All right, so firstly, I know there's some videos of people doing it where they lie just along the bench, but no, 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 we don't wanna do that. We wanna lie across the bench. So then we get our core engaged and our glutes engaged. And these muscles, we wanna get engaged as much as we can. And to get them engaged as a byproduct of this movement, just through being in this position is ideal. The core and the glutes are really important when it comes to improving the anterior pelvic tilt, which is gonna be making your pot belly and your rib flare look worse. So let's, so let's get in that position. So core engaged, glutes are squeezed, our body, our, our ribs are down, our, our body, our torso is nice and straight, in line with our glutes, we're parallel to the floor. That's the starting position with just our shoulders on the bench. Then from here, we keep our elbows tight like this because that's encouraging adduction. And you can actually squeeze your chest while you're in that position. Squeezing chest, squeezing glutes, squeezing core. And then we're just gonna slowly lower, controlling it and back up. Really trying to keep our chest engaged, our glutes and our core. Now this isn't like an exercise like a fly where you feel a crazy burn in your chest, but you should feel it if you do it properly to some extent by really holding our elbows tight. Don't let your core and glutes disengage. It's really hard to stay so switched on, but you've got to do it. All right, and here you can see me doing it from another angle. Some other things I really wanted to point out is, guys, just take it easy, take it slow. You're not supposed to go too heavy on this movement. It's all about mind to muscle connection, full range of motion, and a good form, okay? Um, then, as you get more comfortable with it, then try and progressively overload week by week, and eventually you should be loading it to a point where it's very challenging, you know, it's taking you near failure, um, but you're keeping good form at all times.